Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you my quick makeup and hair routine. As you can see, I've got it done now. So if you want to see how I've done this look, just keep watching. So I've already done my skincare and I'm going to go ahead and start. So I've got my SPF on just now, just my normal moisturising one. Sometimes I like to go in with this Elizabeth Arden Pro SPF 50 and it's got a tint in it. If I feel like I want a little bit more on my face, I'll go in with that. So I've got my face all moisturised, so I'm just going to start by using Glow Priming Essence. This is just from Primark. I really like this. So I'll just kind of apply it where I'll apply makeup. So just around here. And I'll just rub it in gently. This just helps to add extra glow because I'm really loving having like glowy skin at the minute. So what I like to do now is I like to go straight in with concealer and this is a Revolution Conceal and Define and I'm in the shade CO2. It is quite light but when I bronze and stuff it usually works so I just like to apply it under my eyes just a little bit, tiny bit on my chin and usually that's it. So I like to blend with my sponge and the brush, I just go between them. This is a real technique brush, I just use it for concealer, I'm not actually sure 100% what it's for. So I'll start on my chin and I'll just buff it in. And then I'll go under my eyes and just kind of pat it, just like so. And what I like to do now is I like to grab my beauty blender and just press over any areas I feel like it needs a little bit more blending. Usually like right under my eye, the sort of crease that you can't really get in with a brush. So I've been using this to cream contour. It's a W7 Lift and Sculpt Shaping Palette. And I really like it. As you can see, it's got a mirror and it's got all these shades. I quite like this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some on this angled brush just mix between these two and what I like to do is I like to just place it where I would be contouring and I'm going to do the same on the other side and at this stage I'll just be quite messy and just kind of slip it on because you don't really need to be too neat well I think anyway I'm not a makeup artist I don't know and I'll place a little bit on my chin just almost like on top of the concealer and a little bit under my eyes, just so excess on the brush. A little bit on my nose, dip in some more for my forehead. Just like that, just quite, um, what's the word? Just quite random. And I'm gonna use this flat buffing brush to buff it out. Just start on my chin and buff my cheeks so I like to go kind of up the way and pat just so it blends it in and I'm just going to do the same on this side So after I've applied my cream contour, I'm just going to go ahead and pop a tiny bit of powder under my eyes. I don't use much powder for this look as I like it looking quite natural. So I'll just go back in my beauty blender and make sure there's no creases just right under my eye. I'll take my Body Shop Press powder and this little powder brush. And just a tiny bit. And I'll just pat that on right underneath my eye. I'll do the same on the other side. bit and right underneath my eye. So next I like to move on to bronzer and I'm using this baked bronzer by Kiko. I absolutely love it and I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush. This one's actually got a shimmer in it which I really love because I like that glowy look. It's amazing. So I'm just going to pop it over my cream contour, kind of bring it more to my cheek. Same on the other side. I like to bring it over my eyes, sort of under my eyes on my nose, just kind of over this area here. And I make sure I get a little bit on my neck, just so it blends in. As you can see, my skin's super glowy. It's almost like I'm wearing highlighter. 
So next I'm going to go on with my blush and this is a baked blush so it's shimmery as well and I'm just going to take this blush brush and I'm just going to dip a little bit because this is really pigmented. Tap off the excess and I like to kind of start here and bring it to my temples and I just kind of pat it in. And then I'll go sort of more onto the apples of my cheeks. I'm just going to take my bronzer brush and just kind of sweep over sort of under my eye area just to make sure it all blends in with the blusher. So the next thing I like to do is my brows. I don't like to do too much as you can see they're a bit wild just now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush them up just like so. And I'm just going to fill in a few hairs with my Revolution pencil this is double sided so it's got a spoolie and your pencil on this side it's almost angled so i'm just going to see if you can see that so on one side it's thinner and on the other side it's thicker so i like to use the thinner side for drawing hair like strokes and this is for more like filling in so i'm going to take the thinner side and i'm literally just going to run it through the ends of my brows just kind of in the same direction as my hairs are going I'm just going to do the exact same on this eye. What I like to do, especially on the front, is kind of wiggle my spoolie like side to side and brush up just to kind of soften the pencil a bit so it's not too harsh. Just like so. And I'll do the same on this eyebrow. Just wiggle it side to side. And then brush up just so it kind of makes it a bit softer. And I've actually, usually I use a brow gel or something, but I've actually got a new product to try. So, I see everyone, I used to use hair gel to do my eyebrows, but I see everyone using the Got To Be Glued, I've got the hairspray here, Got To Be Glued gel. I couldn't actually find it, so I've got this other gel to try. I think it's kind of the same consistency. It is kind of blue, kind of clear, but I'm just going to go ahead and try it. So I've grabbed my older spoolie, as you can see, it has got some glue and stuff in it from using products like this. And I'm literally just going to dunk it in a little bit and start brushing it through my eyebrows. Just going up. So I saw a lot of people use the Iconic London like sort of glow spray. Um, but I had like a face mist here and I wanted to try and make my own. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just give it a wee mix. Look how glittery that is. So I basically put some gold highlighter powder in my spray to make it shimmery. And it actually was really good. Like I only had a wee bit left so I just thought I might try it. And I actually love it. So it doesn't really set your makeup. It just kind of adds glow. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray that on my face now. And you can see already like how glowy my skin's looking. So I don't usually do anything to my eyes apart from mascara. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So I just use the Benefit Their Real Lash Mascara. I've just got a wee mini one. I'm going to move on to my lips. So I like something a bit more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my nude lip liner pencil. This is just from Primark. This is in the shade Toast. And I'm going to line them a tiny bit because I want it to look natural. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lip. So I've just moved the camera down a bit just so you can see me do the step. So I start at the Cupid's bow. And I just kind of go over it like that and I'm doing it really natural and I'll follow the line down I'm using a very light hand as well because I really want this natural so I'm just blending it in a little bit just to make it a bit more softer so I've got this gloss and it's kind of a nudie pink shade I'm not even sure where this is from I've had it for like years I don't even see so I'm just going to go ahead and pop a little bit on. So 
So that is my makeup done and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do with my hair. So as you can probably tell, I need to wash my hair so I'll probably do that tomorrow. So when I've done this makeup, I usually like to just do something quick to my hair. So I'm going to show you. So first, brush your hair through. I'm just going to grab my dry shampoo and I'm just going to hold my hair up and spray it in just at different sections. You want to make sure you're spraying quite far away, especially if you have dark hair, because this does leave a cast. But it's totally fine when you brush it out or dry it out with a hair dryer, so that's fine. And I'll just move it to the side, spray that side, spray that side, and I'll just run my fingers through it and give it a good massage into my hair. So now once I've applied the dry shampoo, I'm just going to part my hair a little bit more to the side. Once I've done that, I'm going to show you how I like to put it in a low pony. So I like to make sure these front bits are behind my ear and this is kind of smooth. Then what I'll do is grab my hair back, just like so. And I'm just going to spray the front a little bit with some hairspray. Just so it's nice and smooth. Smooth it with a back comb and brush. And as you can see, it's all bumpy here. So I'm just going to take it from about there and brush it back. So once my hair is all smoothed down, I'm just going to grab my bobble. And I'm literally, I'll turn to the side so you can see. Just going to pop it in a ponytail. Wrapping it round, trying to make sure that this stays all smooth. Just doing it nice and gentle. So once I've got that wrapped round, I'm just going to pull and pull it up the way. Just so it's sitting a little bit more up my head. So I'm going to mess around with it and get it to the height I would like, just like that. I'm going to fix my front bit. Sometimes I like to leave them out, but today I'm wanting it quite sleek, so I'm not going to bother. And I'll just make sure it's all looking nice and neat. Then what I like to do, I like the sleekness of the front, but I like the ponytail to be quite messy. I'm just going to turn it to the side a little bit. I'm going to section my hair, grab my back comb and brush, and just back comb sections. I'm just going to do the same here. You should always add a little hair clip or something in. I think I'm just going to leave mine today. So I've decided because I have my short bits and they are sticking out, I'm going to pop a nice little clip in at the back here. I'm just going to slide it in like and here you can see the finished look. So here's the finished look with my hair and makeup. This is what I like to do just when my hair is needing washed and I just want to get ready really quickly. Thanks for watching. Bye!